Once my works are shown, there are certain expectations and clichés which are instantly evoked. In my work, I only seemingly meet this expectation, playing with them instead. I try not to offer the Western gaze a good look at the Oriental, but to turn this gaze into my central theme, namely the patterns which are used when constructing the Orient. I try to observe, so to say, how I am observed. I take visual elements uh, from the Oriental clichés familiar to the West and transfer these into a new context. Elements are deconstructed, their meaning expanded beyond the familiar in order to inhibit easy and unquestioning uh, perception. By deplacing familiar signs of ethnic and gender um, projections, I try to visualize the instability of their meanings and create structural irritations. Thus, many in-between spaces are developing which withdraw themselves from familiar ways of classification. Analyzing these spaces, displaying them, and broaching the issue of how they arise is a central point of my work. In 1998, the story of my life took a new turn when my both parents, who were active political dissidents, became victims of a series of political murders executed by the Iranian Secret Service at their home in Tehran. My efforts in pursuing the case in, in Iran had an effect on my personal and artistic sensibilities. Political correctness and democratic coexistence lost its tangible meaning in my daily life. But also, the forced upon ethnical identification, which I always felt, took a new turn with the assassination of my parents. As a result in my work, I have tried to distill this conflict of transfer of meaning, turning it into a source of creativity. I have tried to deal with parallel questions of identity and cognition in different cultural settings. Now I would like to show you some examples of my work in the, uh, of the recent years. The first work is called Blind Spot. You are seeing one of the images. It is a series of photographs. The protagonists are men who show their shaven backs, um, back of their heads, wailed in a by a chador. Uh, their empty faces <laughs> are distressing, uh, but the beauty of the veil, with its silky material and floral pattern, is attractive at the same time. I have consciously place the work in this field of ambiguity. During this, uh, now we are seeing some uh, exhibition images. During the second Berlin Biennale, I have shown this work in form of billboards in, the, in urban space. The irritation was increased. The version with the lying figures I have shown as a frieze. The ornamental aspect of the work was reinforced and found parallels to Rorschach images. The idea of hidden and veiled get emphasized. The next work is called Friday. This work tries to visualize the tension between eroticism and the suggestive might of the veil object or person. Uh, the next series of, of photos is called Swan Rider. Um, by the fusion of the swan with a veiled woman, both heavily loaded with meanings and stories, uh, I try to surpass familiar boundaries by an ironic uh, approach. Um, the drawings of the series Signs pursue this irony. Uh, here, the international modern language of signs pictograms is used to show traditional rules of gender behavior in the Islamic world. Um, the next work, Funeral Service, 
is a group of office chairs occup uh, in, in this work, occup uh, a group of office chairs occupy a room. They are covered with ceremonial Shiitic mourning textiles imprinted with ornaments and calligraphy, poems in honor of the Shiite martyr Imam Hussein, grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. By covering office chairs, symbols of modern bureaucracy with these traditional cloths originating in the Shiite culture of martyrdom and uh, mourning, an image of paradoxical simultaneity is induced. The tension of the installation is a result of the contrast between religious ecstasy and the bureaucratic everyday structures. In the next work, Written Room, I use calligraphy again, which has a sacral and ritual character in the Oriental world. In this work, the Persian script is turned into an ornament. It is eligible for Western visitors, but also if one has a command of Persian language, the characters proves to be nothing more than word fragments, which are not subject of a linear order. For me, the beauty lies in the absence of meaning, memory of my mother tongue, which has lost its function for me living in exile. The meaning cannot be grasped. At best, the lettered ping pong balls, which cover the base of the installation, can be grasped in a tactual sense. The legibility is made even more difficult by the movement of the ping pong balls, which due to their form offer no stable reading access. They form new patterns over and over again, are always in motion, and become incoherently disjointed. Viewers entering the written rooms are surrendered uh, uh, by patterns, forcing them to give up their distanced point of view. Uh, in the next work, documentation, I'm using script in a very different way. Here, I'm telling my personal story in the context of art, using the public forum of art to publicize the murder of my parents that was commissioned by the secret service of the Islamic regime of Iran. In the form of an empath uh, empathically objective documentation, I compile correspondence with the government offices human rights organizations and political representatives, newspaper articles and photographs assembled in a mosaic reveal the image of a repressive regime that reads itself of dissidents through murder. Whoever wants to contribute to the circulation of this information can duplicate the documents on the photocopying machine provided and take them home. The research of the structures of power is also the central theme of the next work, Islimi. The decorative surface of the ornament, which seemingly harmonizes all distinctions, is a central focus of my work. Islimi is a catalog of patterns. Their design is based on traditional oriental patterns it is represented as a pattern book in a furniture store, which the viewer can flick through and select from. But looking closer, the fine patterns reveal themselves to be stylized genitals or sharp objects such as knives. <laughs> Sexuality and violence mingle together. Here I use the image of a fairy tale like ornamentally beautiful orient but taking a closer look, it is precisely these cliched images that I try to undermine. I continued uh, the series of pattern-based works in the next piece. It is a transport container which is upholstered uh, from the inside. The pink color pattern is made up of knives. There is an extreme contrast between the softness of the material and the pointed ornament. 
Such containers are usually used to provide short-term, economically efficient accommodation, for instance, for refugees, those who are not permitted to gain foothold, who cannot find a homeland. Padding out the container makes it seem like a padded cell, traditionally used for restraining the mad. The mad, as Foucault has described, represent for society the other per se. The broken off dialogue with the mad corresponds to the line of distinction drawn by Western societies in relation to the Orient. The container becomes a space to explore mechanisms of exclusion. The viewer can enter the padded cell, and in doing so, they themselves become objects of observation and are compelled to reflect on their observing point of view. The last body of work I am showing is uh, 1001 Day, which contains wallpaper, work on view in the show, a series of flip books, animations, and an installation of helium-filled balloons. All these works display a decorative effect when seen from a distance. Whoever comes closer is confronted with the details of what at first sight was an apparently casual pattern, cruel scenes of torture, clearly illustrated on the basis of indivisible mixture of fantasy readings and victim accounts. These are posters, the two images. Uh, the drawings are computer generated in a style of traditional Persian miniature, an independent ornamental vocabulary, letter, vocabulary of violence. They are constantly repeated and in this way correspond to the design principles of wallpaper patterns or balloons. The following images, this image as well, are stills of the animation installation marching bands. Here I try to create a tension between the represented and the aesthetic form of the presentation too. On one hand, the shocking subject of torture, on the other, kaleidoscopical ornamental grouping of figures moving in a setting like dancing forms. Uh, the last stills uh, refer to the animation just a minute. The scenes of torture, uh, the scenes of torture fall sy symmetrically into an in ornamental order there is no freedom of movement provided, but still the aesthetic keeps it attraction. The image collapses and slides away, but reconstructs itself again and again. A merciless reproduction. Thank you very much.